common word to come across in the world of IT and technology is the word driver. You might have been told to update your drivers to fix an issue or been provided with a link to install some new drivers to enable you to use a new piece of hardware. But what actually is a driver? In this video, we're going to have a look at what a driver is and what issues can occur with them. Please do subscribe if you haven't already. It really helps this small channel grow. A driver is a software component that allows a computer's operating system to communicate with hardware devices such as printers, graphics cards, and sound cards. Every hardware device on a computer requires a driver to function properly. When a device is installed or connected to a computer, the operating system looks for a suitable driver to communicate with that device. If a driver is not installed or is outdated, the device may not function correctly or at all. You can think of a driver as being like a translator between the hardware device and the operating system. It provides the necessary instructions for the operating system to control the device and access its features. Without a driver, the operating system would not know how to communicate with the device, and the device would therefore not function. Drivers are typically developed and provided by the hardware manufacturer. They are often updated to improve device performance, add new features or fix issues. Updating drivers can help improve the stability and performance of hardware devices. It is often recommended to keep drivers up to date to ensure the best performance from your computer's hardware. So now we know what a driver is, what issues can occur with them? The first one we'll look at is having outdated drivers. These can cause compatibility issues and may result in errors or malfunctions with hardware devices. For example, an outdated graphics driver may not support the latest features or games causing performance issues or visual glitches. If a driver is missing or not installed correctly, a hardware device may not function at all. For example, if the driver for a printer is not installed, the computer will not be able to communicate with the printer and it won't be able to print anything. Drivers can also become corrupted due to software bugs or hardware malfunctions. Corrupted drivers can cause crashes, errors, or other problems with hardware devices. Conflicting drivers can also be an issue. Sometimes two or more drivers can conflict with each other, causing issues with hardware devices. For example, if two graphics drivers are installed, they may conflict with each other and cause display issues like these. Incompatible drivers can cause problems with hardware devices or the operating system. For example, if a driver is designed for a different operating system or hardware architecture, it may not work correctly on your computer or the device you're connecting it to. To avoid driver issues, it's important to keep them up to date, download drivers from trusted sources, and follow the instructions to install them carefully. If you do experience driver issues like the ones we've mentioned, try updating or reinstalling the driver, or seeking help from a manufacturer support forum. Please do subscribe if you've enjoyed this video, and thanks for watching.